In this short video, I will show you how to start using an attempt. There is a number of ways you can start using an attempt, but more or less they can be classified into three different categories. The first one is an attempt cloud, a service provided by the company itself. Then there is a self-hosted version when you host an attempt with DigitalOcean, Hetzner, or any other provider of the servers. And there is another option uh, to use it locally on your uh, laptop, desktop, or even on the Raspberry Pi. And now let's go for the option. First option is an attempt cloud. To register there, you should go to anytime.io, uh, provide your uh, pr provide your email password. You can register with Google. It's quite easy. And then you have seven days to try it for free. But after that, you should start paying. The advantages are is that it has zero setup. Everything is ready there for you. Uh, you have automatic updates. So once an attempt version is updated, uh, it's just with a click of a button, you have uh, an attempt server upgrade to the latest version. And uh, also there is an AI workflow builder, which will help you uh, to create the workflows with the help of AI. The negative part is that the price is from 20 to 24 dollar or euro per month, depending on whether you're paying annually or monthly, and uh, that there is a number of executions, maximum number of executions, 2.5 thousand for the workflows per month. The second option uh, is self-hosting with uh, any of the service providers. And here is uh, uh, the advantage is that you have unlimited number of workflows or executions. It starts with a $4 a month or as much as a uh, virtual server cost uh, from this provider. And another one is that you can connect your own domain and point your domain name uh, to the server. I have a separate video on this channel where I'm showing you how to connect DigitalOcean and uh, the domain name which I purchased on the name chip and install an attempt there. These advantages are that you're responsible for the server and for the updates and you need to be a bit more technical uh, in order to know how to do it. And the third option is uh, local. You can run it locally. In order to do so, you will need to install install Docker, then uh, run an attend Docker container on your machine. It's absolutely free. Uh, it has unlimited executions as well as in the server version and unlimited number of workflows. You are fully in control. That's uh, advantage. The disadvantages are that your computer should be switched on at the time when you would like your workflows to be running. And uh, there is a quite let's sometimes there is a problem with the webhook. So if you would like other programs to refer to your uh, workflows on your local machine, you should establish a, a so-called tunnel. Uh, it's additional setup. It's possible, but it's a bit more complicated. And a tank cloud is best for teams, and uh, but it's the most expensive option. It requires no maintenance. Self-hosted version is for the power users. It's a lot cheaper, and you're fully in control. And the local version is for the curious beginners, and uh, it's free for you to try. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like it and subscribe to the Reasonable AI channel. Please also use the affiliate link in the description if you would like uh, to start with the NTM Cloud. You will not pay anything extra, but this way will support the channel.